What's going on? We're kicking off episode 8 with diving into the catchy fishing village, one of the Mongol territories. It's just going to give us a minor bump in legend increase and plus 8 steel. And then after that, the intention of this video is we're going to go ahead and dive into uh, one of the objectives of Act 2, which is to contact the Shogun for samurai reinforcements. So we're going to party up with Lord Shimura and use one of his old friends to get a message to the Mongol blockade and get some help. After that, uh, we'll kind of just wander around. I don't really have a plan now, honestly. But we're gonna kind of just wander on through the map, get a couple side objectives done, and see where the video takes us. Outside of the uh, second, uh, sorry, the Act 2, outside of the initial one that we're doing here where we're gonna contact the Shogun for reinforcements, it's a big jump. Uh, you're, we're also going to need to recruit the people of Yarikawa, which is where Yuna and Taka are from, and kind of backdrop on that. Lord Shimra did put down a rebellion there at one point, so they don't really have a lot of love for him necessarily. So that's going to be a battle in itself. And then we're also going to need to go back to Jin's homeland. I don't know if that's what you'd call it, but we're going to need to claim his uh, family armor. So one of the objectives here is to stay stealthy. So kind of get an outlook of the area here. Try to knock out some of these side objectives and then get everyone safe and home. For the most part it looks pretty empty and the movement looks pretty predictable so far. So wrapping up what we did in the last episode, we saved Shimura. And now we're trying to get all of everything, the full rebellion and swing. G hops. Okay. So we got the above attack. The rest is just to rescue the hushes she's here. So we might just kind of roll through this real quick. These guys clearly know better than I do about our surroundings. You didn't see anything. So it looks like this place goes up the whole hill here. You'll be free soon. If a samurai lives, then it must be true Lord Shimura is free. This is a great day, my lord. I'll always remember you. Find somewhere safe. Be careful. Took a moment, huh? Dude saw me running up from, you know, 20, 30 feet away. That's on him at that point. I feel like there's at least maybe one more here. There he is. Surprise! Okay. So we can take this guy out, but I'm pretty sure we got one more upstairs too. And the only way up is over here. Hope if I can go up the ladder here. 
Negyim har szinte! Hold still. My prayers have been answered. You're safe now. Yeah, definitely not that way. So it looks like we're going to have to go all the way over here to the left. Might as well check for supplies real quick, though. All right, pretty bad. We're going to head out. Almost was cool there. Guess not. <laughs> Man, think of the impact of that on your ankles and your feet. That jump would have to hurt so bad. Hurry! You're going to be all right. I prayed for this. Go and stay safe. Another area safe from Mongol occupation. That's marks for a good day. There's our plus eight steel, little minor legend increase. And now we're gonna hop over into our next main mission. I believe it's a fire or a message in fire. And that's where we're gonna attempt to get a message out to the Shogun for samurai reinforcements and help kinda push back this Mongol invasion. First, you got taken the view, like always. Peaceful life, and even in chaos, which this game does a really good job of illustrating, clearly. All right, sorry guys, cut out a little bit of clip because we ran into the Icky Island expansion, but we did run into a duel here right after the fact, so I wanted to kick back off at this spot here. Straw hats are cowardly traitors. You all deserve death. And samurai are spoiled hypocrites who steal glory from real warriors like me. I'll prove it. Come on then. All right, so this one's Duel on the Drowning Marsh. I believe, I don't wanna butcher this, but I believe there are 25 different duels. So if you're a completionist and you're going for platinum or one of those trophies, keep in mind this is something you're gonna to need to do across the map. Just like all the other things, but this one at least kind of has a little bit more reward to it. It actually takes a little bit more skill. It's gonna be pretty similar to just like all the other uh, major boss fights we have. A lot of these guys are going to have main combos that they roll with and moves, so as long as you study that and take the time to learn them, they're going to be pretty easy to roll through. 
So far we've seen he's got a sweeping move where he starts over in the, his right side, which is an unblockable, but then he goes with a parryable um, overhead right after that. So that's his first one. And he does stay kind of here with these low swipes, which you can parry. These right here. Here's that move I was talking about where he starts over to his right and he swipes up some mud and he goes with a parryable. Okay. That's another one. So he's got two unblockables there. Like always, my strategy is parries what I parry what I can, dodge what I can. Example, he's got a charge move there. And then my goal after that is to just shield break him or guard break him. So even if it's only one heavy swing every now and then, I try to get one in after every single sequence of movements that we have back and forth here. So there's the main combo he's using. Really easy way to parry. I dodge there, but he's got a normal kind of jabbing motion. That's the one that he uses the most. So whenever you see him hold off to the right there, this looks like an un unblockable start here. Yeah. And this one, this guy was two movement sequences. So real easy fight here. Yeah, and I believe there's 25. But this one's Duel in the Drowning Marsh, so they will have names. And I believe when you pass them up, there are going to be markers on the map, too. Just like with the fox dens and the shrines and everything else. Alright, nice duel. Some caffeine's going to go a long way into waking me up here. Sorry if you can uh, catch the little bit of eye boogers on. Not a whole bunch of sleep with Christmas, getting ready for the kid. Speaking of, hope you guys had a great Christmas for those of you that do celebrate it and happy holidays to all my other celebrators of this time of the year. It looks like we got a little camp over here as well, so we might as well just work through it. It looks like a bunch of straw hat. Let's see. Come here and fight. Again, I have to imagine that hurts real bad, just wiping the katana right across his bare forearm. Always picking flowers, you know me. We have put a little bit of delay on these videos with Avatar Frontiers of Pandora coming out. The goal is to start kicking back in these a little bit, picking them up. To be honest with you, Avatar's not drawing a little, whole lot of excitement from the storyline, trying to get more into it. But you should expect to see more of these episodes pop up as we progress through uh, the next couple weeks and months. Again, if you haven't seen any of the earlier videos, if you're not familiar with the mechanics, when you are in a hostage situation like this, always keep in mind that when you see that skull and bones here, like it's popping up again, that means they're going to execute the hostage. I'm not exactly sure on the timing of it, depending on the difficulty you're playing on, it's going to be a little bit quicker, a little bit slower. Just keep that in mind that you do want to kind of put priority on that and try to neutralize that. If the hostage is taken out, a lot of times they will stop the mission altogether and you'll fail. Be well. Hope 
is all we have left. So this wasn't our initial plan here, but I feel it's only right that we have to free these people now that we know that there's four hostages. We've got one of the four. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can not laugh or even stay focused there with how he just like popped a squad to go fishing. <laughs> So our bonus is to take out five without taking any damage. We'll go ahead and we'll just shoot. Oh, that didn't make any sense. Oh. <laughs> All right. Would have been nice if that arrow counted. We would have already finished the bonus here. But again, bonus for this mission. Obviously, we're trying to save four hostages. But the bonus is going to be that we don't take any damage and can take out five enemies in succession. Which shouldn't be too bad. Biggest thing, like you saw with my mistake, is try to avoid the archers hitting you. They will be probably be the biggest headache here. Especially guys that are going to spam fire three arrows like he's doing. Yeah, and I would have gotten hit right there too if it weren't for the fact that it hit his own guy in the back. Okay. He wanted to take out the hostage, so we kind of had to put him in front of priority there, but... I'm forever indebted to you. Go, and stay safe. You need to hunt while I still can. Looks like we're gonna need to work to the opposite side of this kind of marsh area. Bob and weave, boys. Bob and weave. If you're not a fan of the kunai, I highly recommend uh, getting used to it in situations here with large groups. It's an easy way to kind of slow everything down for you and get your bearings. This guy's over here just taunting our hostages. That looked like a dick shot. A terrible way to go. That would have been a lot cooler if I didn't miss that first uh, swing. You're going to be all right. You are the equal of Gosaku, my lord. As a sign of our gratitude, take this key to his armor. I will wear it in defense of the people of Tsushima. So this is something that as we progress through the game, you'll see we can unlock six different keys. And what that's going to do is it's going to eventually give us access to that armor. It is one of the cooler armors in the game. If you like it for the aesthetic, I might recommend pursuing it. But uh, I'm not going to put any priority on that. We'll kind of have it as we go on. You'll find the keys randomly as you take out different villages and, villages and liberate them from the Mongols. So that can just be one of those kind of like progression tied things that as we go throughout the game if you guys want to see more priority on this we could we can take some time and i can pull out some of the locations and pop them up for you on the map just let me know down below depending on when you see this video maybe it's a little bit later than what was originally posted 
If I never did, just let me know and again. We can always create something different to kind of help out the group here. So now that we knocked out that side little mission that we kind of just ran into, we can head over now to a message and fire, which we were originally, originally heading for. But this guy's got a talk icon, so I gotta see what he's doing. Have you seen the birds, Lord Sakai? What birds are you looking for? The golden ones. Songs that remind you of more peaceful times. Ah, they were my mother's favorite. She used to say they knew our island better than any other creature. I believe it, my lord. And if it weren't so dangerous, I'd follow one. See where the golden bird leads me. Maybe I'll do just that. But you should wait until our home is safe once more. I will, Lord Sakai. Thank you. That's kind of funny. I was literally just about to make a comment about how I feel that they do a really good job with this game at everything on like a foot level. But in that scene alone, both of them were just floating in midair for the most part. But outside of that, honestly, they do. The dirt, the mud, the tracks that you leave, the grass. I know that's a weird thing to be happy about. But in games where realism around like footprints and how you walk through leaves and grass and different kind of foliage, uh, this game really just adds a whole another layer of like immersion. One of my favorite words to use, obviously, if I haven't already said it a hundred times in this series alone, but they really do. I mean, even in that fight, I don't know if a lot of you guys have noticed, we were caked in mud. Just the really cool small details that you're not going to get out of a traditional game nowadays. It's also kind of crazy that every time you see a, someone dead on the side of the road, there's almost always a collectible next to them. Like a flower, or, you know, symbolic of death brings life. Right, I'm pretty sure I got turned around here, so we're just going to swing around. There we go. This is a beautiful setting. Looks like we got a collectible nearby. If I could get up the rock. Question is, is it up this rock face? There we go. Some records. That his legendary bow is on Tsushima. If it is, and the Mongols find it, Tsushima is as good as lost. That's where the traveler's outfit is uh, my favorite. It makes collection collectibles a little bit kind of uh, more nonchalant as you're going out through the game. I don't really want to take a whole lot of time playing through. To hyper focus on records and crickets and all those things. They oh, do come with unlockables, but state your business. not a huge priority. My name is Jin Sakai. A samurai? Lady Sanjo will want to see you. She's in charge of a Mugi Cove. Please come with me. This way, my lord. It's important you speak to the lady. Just to give a little fresh reboot on where we are here. So we're in Act 2, retake of Castle Shimura. Got a three-step process we're working through. It's going to be one of the first big ones here. It's crazy how this uh, traveler is just about everywhere. Where are we going, bro? You're showing me the way. Welcome to Umugi Cove. 
I see the Mongols haven't found this place. Thankfully, no. There hasn't been bloodshed here for many years. Anyone who draws a weapon answers to my men. Your safety is assured, so long as you abide by that same rule. Now, please, tell me how I may help you. I'm looking for a smuggler named Guru. <laughs> Interesting. He is downstairs, having his third bottle of sake. Enjoy your visit with him. Thank you. Come see me again sometime. I think we can help each other. Never should have let the samurai dragon. You must be Goro. Uh, we must all be someone. Who must you be? Lord Sakai. Ah, the samurai are all dead. I'm very much alive. But my patience is dying. Lord Shimura asks that you repay your debt to him. He's alive? Uh, what does he want? To deliver a message to the mainland. I charged a lot for that trip, even before the Mongol blockade. You owe my master a debt. This will repay it. Then I have no choice. After Komoda Beach, I thought my debt to Lord Shimura was erased. That's why I was drinking. To celebrate your escape? To mourn the samurai. Those warriors died protecting men like me. Hmm? They swore to defend everyone on Tsushima. Even you, Goro. I don't know if I can repay their sacrifice. My master wouldn't ask for your help if he expected you to fail. I love how you can hear him snoring right here. Wake up, it's time to work! Alright, we initially took a turn here because I'm looking for this collectible, but... At this point I'm assuming it's down a level here. This is my home. Come in. I saw a flock of birds circling in the sky, my lord. I went to see where they were, and found the most beautiful place. I sat and stared, lost track of time. We all need inspiration these days. During times of conflict, warriors would visit such places and write haiku. I heard the art of haiku prepares the mind and body for battle. Is it true, my lord? It is. But you don't have to be a warrior to benefit from poetry. Jin over here dropping some stoicism on this lady. Way to be. Alright. We just wanted the records there. Now we need to figure out where the hell Goro is. Oh, there you are, bud. What's up? Oh. Just gonna shut the door in my face. Guess I deserve a little bit from making him wait. Do you have Lord Shimura's message? He has it. At his camp on the Akashima coast. Ah. I can work with that. One of my boats is hidden near Fort Mitodake. This map shows where I'll wait on the forest road. Open up, Goro! We're not leaving until you pay us what you owe! I didn't call for Ronin. Uh, my lord, what's your business with Goro? Private. We'll... we'll be back.
Yeah, I keep, you know, a lot of different people of all different walks of life in my circle. Nothing wrong with a pirate. All right, we're going to cut down some of this travel time here. Fast travel, obviously. We're still about 480 meters out from the hunting camp. The gifts of our people. We'll collect those real fast. Nice. That's how big a mustache. Oh, I got a little too excited. We got some face wraps too. Damn, looks like we hit the flower jackpot. We also have a collectible here, it looks, based on a glowing lightning bug. I would imagine it's probably some records or something in here. Yep, right there. Alright, 8 of 40 already. That's not half bad. I was gonna fight the temptation there, but you no, I'm just gonna <laughs> If you don't get the reference, uh you're too young. Or too old. I don't know. Alright, looks like we got another collectible here. Or not collectible, but a uh, piece of gear to grab. For those who walk lonely for some bogs of Shushima. That's pretty badass. We'll go ahead and we'll keep this on for now. Like I said earlier, I'm a big fan of the Traveler's Outfit for obvious reasons. But I do like the customization of uh, the headwear, the masks, the katana, your bow and arrow, your horse. There's a lot to go with, so. To each their own with the customization. Some people keep it plain and simple. Some people will be uh, super extravagant, I guess. I don't know. But let's dive in. We're finally here. Have news. Yes, Lord Shimura. I found Goro in Umugi Cove. <laughs> Was he drunk? Not anymore. He will fulfill his debt to you and sail for the mainland. He may be unsavory, but few know the sea like Goro. Will these men deliver your message? Precisely. Kotaro and Jiro are loyal and courageous. I will petition the Shogun for reinforcements. Goro is ready. He will meet us nearby, then lead us to his boat. We will ride when the time is right. Take this moment to prepare for battle. Yes, Uncle. It is time. To your horses, men. We are ready, my lord. Stay alert. And keep watch for our smuggler. Looks like we're going to have a decent amount of action coming up. So this is going to be one of the few times where I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch out my gear. Uh, biggest reason, obviously, being the health buff. This one being a major increase to health. That's going to be about the only time that we switch them out. And we'll go back after this. I can always tell when you want to ask me something. Out with it. I'm curious how you met Goro. I caught him selling Chinese silk forbidden by Shogun decree. I burned his stock and let him go. He could have been flogged, but you saw a better path. A skilled sailor can be a valuable asset. The Mongols have many ships. Can Goro evade them all? He has no choice. What will we do if they catch us, my lord? 
Do not fear death, Kotaro. Live with courage. And never forget the people you fight to protect. Lord Shimura! Goro, where is your boat? This way. I'm happy you're alive, my lord. Thank you for agreeing to settle your debt. Uh, I'll do my best. But I fear the Mongols will sink me before I leave the coastline. There are too many eyes watching the water. Perhaps we can direct their attention elsewhere. Dismount. We walk from here. Fort Mitodake. My father took that stronghold from Clan Yeriko. Now the Mongols have it. Imagine their surprise when two samurai take it back from them. If we make enough noise inside the fort... Mm. The Mongol ship crews will look to it instead of the water. Goro, we will draw the enemy's attention to the fort. Sail when you hear the fighting. My lord, you will be killed! Your only concern is delivering my message. Horses might give us away. We will go on foot, Lord Sakai. Mongol armies are formidable, but our attack will catch them off guard. Let's pray that holds true in the fort. They outnumber us, but they cannot attack all at once. How long can we keep the element of surprise? Only until we see the enemy. Then, we strike. Mongols ahead. We could avoid them. Turn your back on a foe, and you will die with a sword stuck in it. I know it's really easy to laugh and make fun of Lord Shimura, but I mean, the balls on this guy. He just ran up on five Mongols by himself. Don't tell me he's not loyal to his people. Or has no common sense. I don't know. Works out for him. That dog. Mate. Archers galore out here. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I would hate to be a patrolling archer. No weapon as a secondary, just Yeah, I'm good. I'm sitting on a wall of post. That guy could add a second career in the circus, you know, as a flaming swordsman. That was dramatic, bro. Get up. 
I am proud to fight beside you, Jeep. See how the enemy fear you? You're a true warrior. Thank you, Uncle. Remain alert. Uh, archers, take cover! Looks like all those kid fire defense classes really worked off. All I had to do is stop, drop, and roll. Pretty sure there's a little bit of friendly fire right there. Get off me! Show me the way. Show me where to go, Unc. We have their full attention now. Kill them all! So it looks like there's not a timer uh, mechanic on the Huacha here. You see a white circle, know that uh, you will be rained down with a hell free of fire. My like shimmer just did there. Oh. Well, if he wasn't dead before, he is now. Wait, so am I supposed to kill them all or run, run away, man? What do you want? Got it. Even better on the leader. Friendly fire! Damn, what a way to go. Imagine sliding like that and you hit just one peb one. There goes your ankle. Done. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop sliding. Tower. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got no chance. Just gonna go sneak a peeky up on him here. Don't mind me. That was clean. So it was uh, way cooler if we kicked him. There is Goro's boat. We bought them time, but not enough. The Mongols have seen them, and their attack ships are faster. Our men are defenseless. No, they have us. We have a Huacha. A weapon of the enemy, not samurai. Saving our people is all that matters. You know how to fire this. I'll learn. Destroy the Mongol ships. Leave the guards to me. Uncle. We will not die here, my boy. The Mongols sent boarding parties. Don't let their boats reach Goro. Alright, we got a little bit of tower defense. We got Goro's boat swinging up there on the right side. It looks like the watch here puts enough off that we can honestly take out two at a time for the most part. The dilemma you face in this game with honor and no honor is uh... I like it, but I, I think it would be a lot cooler if you could actually have like decisions that you personally made that were pertinent to that storyline on whether or not you were perceived to have honor or not. This game is game of the year for a reason. So it looks like the siege of the Mongols here they're trying to make on Gore is about a three-pronged kind of in attempt, I would say. You have the small kind of mobile ships coming through that you need to take out and monitor because it looks like they're going to kind of dispatch routinely throughout this whole mission. You obviously had the base here off the side that we're going to shoot arrows. And then you have the boats here with all the explosives which I would imagine kind of act as like the last line of defense here. I'm going to try my best to take them out now while I don't see any ships moving towards him. More ships on the way. Hold on, Goro. Where? Ah, okay. All the way over here. I'm behind the wreckage. So two more to take out, and then... I would imagine we'll probably get it at that point. You made it, Goro. There we go. Yep. Bring us the Shogun's help. We did it. I knew we would. You continue to prove the Mongols are not unstoppable. You taught me to fight. I couldn't disappoint you. And you never have. I am proud of the warrior. The man you have become. Jin, my message to the Shogun included an announcement. I wish to formally adopt you as my son. Uncle. In my heart, you have always been the heir to my legacy. When this war ends, we will make it official. One day our people will look to you as their leader. You will become their honorable Jito, backed by all the power of the Shogun. I hope I can serve them as well as you have. I know you will. We must finish our preparations while we wait for the Shogun's reinforcements. What are your orders? Reclaim your father's honor and recruit the people of Yarikawa. We'll see how reliable your friend really is. I'll meet Yuna and recover my armor from Omi village. When you're ready, meet me at our staging camp in Kubata. Then we will retake my castle from Kotun Khan. And save our home. As father and son, the Shogun himself will celebrate our victory. We will meet again soon. Until then, travel safely. <laughs> I'm sorry, all I could hear in my head when he kept talking about calling him son was, You're not my dad! Uh, but that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Like you saw in the next couple episodes, we're gonna have to help the, unite the people of Yarikawa, go retrieve our armor from Omi Village, and obviously wrap up Act 2. If you guys haven't already subscribed or liked up to this point, I recommend doing so. It helps you keep up with the series. Helps out the channel a ton as well. Let me know what you guys liked about the episode down below, and I will see you guys next time.